BT's Body and Balance is sponsored by Canada Diagnostic Centers, offering MRI, X-ray, and ultrasound services in Calgary and Okotoks. 8.40 on your Wednesday morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Breathing something we do all the time without really thinking about it, but many of us are not breathing correctly. For those with asthma, that can make symptoms worse. So now health spe specialist, you're putting your health specialist yeah. hat on. Now Leah Sarich is here with how a new study could help that, Leah. Yeah, so this is really neat. So I spoke to a respiratory physiotherapist, Jessica Dumaris, and she basically specializes in breathing properly so she can assess how someone is breathing. And what she noticed that in her adult patients, with asthma, if she helped them to relearn how to breathe and do it properly, she noticed that it really helped with their asthma. So now she's doing a study to find out if proper breathing would help children with asthma too. It's a pretty big study actually, um, and what we're doing is we're looking at is there dysfunctional breathing? Is there parameters of it that we can kind of um, look at and, and, and kind of weed out in these kids with asthma? And is there, is there an intervention that's going to then address those issues and have a positive effect on their asthma? So the study involves assessing the patient first, and this is what you're seeing here with Izzy. So Izzy's had asthma since she was a baby, and right now she's having her respiratory chemistry measured here. So they're looking at the amount of carbon dioxide in her exhaled hair. You can see it there on the computer screen. Jessica will also look at the breathing muscle strength, and then she'll also ask patients to fill out a questionnaire about their quality of life with asthma. And then from this assessment, each patient will be given a set of exercises to learn and try out for a six-week period. So the idea really is to get the patient breathing properly and then find out if it helps with their asthma. Izzy says the exercises are really not that hard to learn. My exercises usually take uh, five, ten minutes. They don't take too long and I do them right before I go to bed when I'm relaxed. And uh, I did use them once. I used them when I was, uh, I forgot my inhaler at dance. So then I used them and it actually, um, it helped me more. It helped it helped kind of calm down my asthma. So, it has to be done so that's pretty amazing. Hmm. She actually didn't have her inhaler with her at the time and it actually helped. So it's pretty great and that's certainly something to keep in mind. You know, it's not going to replace medications by any means, but it's just something else that patients can do. And I think it also gives parents a little peace of mind as well, that there's something other than just medication that can maybe help their kids breathe a little easier for sure. So what you saw there was Izzy was actually learning, those are some of the exercises, learning to breathe from her belly more than just from her chest. So they teach them how to do things like that. And that's just one of the exercises that they can teach these patients. And each patient, depending on how they were assessed, will have a different set of exercises. So it's going to be pretty interesting to find out what uh, is going to come of all of this. And she's looking at results probably in about a year from right now. And in fact, they are still looking for study participants. So if you have a child with asthma and you're interested in participating in this study, just give the Running Injury Clinic a call and I'll have that on my blog. Interesting. Such a great resource, yeah. Running Injury Clinic. They're amazing there. Yes, yeah, they, they do are. Cool stuff. All of the staff involved and more mm -hmm. details, of course, on your blog. On my blog, yeah. Breakfast is where we can find that.